Hey YouTubers, it's Priscilla here, and I have a book review for you guys today on The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. This book, I'll just start out by saying this book is amazing, and I loved it, and I would definitely give it a 5 stars because I haven't read anything like this type of book in a while, and the books I've been reading lately have not been going up to my standards of where a book should be, and I just have not been enjoying books that have been coming out lately as much as I want to enjoy the books that are coming out lately. But this one proved me wrong, and as soon as it came out, I got it um, on order for the library, because I didn't really want to spend money on a book I didn't really know about. So I got it on the library list, and it just came in last Thursday. And I got it, and I started it yesterday because we had a snow day, and I finished it yesterday, last night, and it was amazing. And like I said, again, I gave it five stars. So let's talk a little bit about the characters. So the first character, the main character, is Mara Dyer. She is in this kind of accident, and she wakes up not knowing about anything. And her parents tell her that her friends and her were, like, in this abandoned like uh, asylum and that it collapsed and the only survivor was her so she was a little confused about that and the book starts off pretty like eerie or whatever and then um so her mom is a uh, like a therapist or whatever and she's all like crazy and like uh trying to look out for her and all this stuff and Mara just kind of like milks it a little bit and like can we like move away because it's a lot of stress on me and whatever. So they end up moving to this place and um, they start going to private school and all this happens and all this stuff is happening to her and there's things along the way and it's really awesome. Okay, then the other characters are <clears throat> the rest of her family which is her mom, her dad who is a lawyer. Her two brothers, her older brother who, like, looks out for her a lot, and, um, her little brother, Jamie, who's kind of, like, a, a nerd, or whatever. I like how all the characters, like, they have something that happens, like, it's not just, they all make kind of an appearance, like, that's kind of significant a little bit in the book, which is awesome, because I like when that happens. I definitely think you guys should go check it out, and I'm absolutely in love with the love interest, like, um, the person she ends up, like, liking or whatever. He is so cute, and I just love him, and I just keep imagining him, and I just fell in love with him, which I always like to do because, you know, it's always fun to do that. So, anyways, I definitely think you guys should go check out this book, and, um, yes, it had a great twist that I have not read in any other book before and it's not your normal like vampire or werewolf or whatever it's um very interesting and i like it a lot and at the end you'll be so surprised on what happens because i know i was so yeah you guys hope you guys enjoy and have a great book week bye